Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with Carnadis.org and 90 Second Philosophy. Today we're going to be continuing with our series on propositional logic and operations with the operation of conjunction. Now, conjunction is the logical and we're going to represent it with a big old ampersand. So if you want to say P and Q, you would write P ampersand Q. What this means is it is raining and I have my umbrella. If P represents it's raining and Q represents I have my umbrella. This statement is only true if both of those individual statements, P and Q, are true themselves. The logical and can also be represented with a dot or with a caret. We're going to be using an ampersand because it's easy to type in comments and here are my videos. Now, let's take a look at the truth tables. P is it is raining. Q is I have an umbrella. I want to write it is raining and I have an umbrella. So I would write P ampersand Q. I know how to fill in the truth tables for P and Q, but what do I put under the ampersand? Well, let's see. So in the first case, it is raining and I have an umbrella. Clearly, the conjunction is true because that's just the statement we want to say. True. Both of the statements that are part of the conjunction are true. In the second case, it is raining and I don't have an umbrella. The conjunction is false since at least one of the statements is false. It is not raining, but I have an umbrella. Conjunction is once again false, because at least one is false. And finally, it's not raining and I don't have an umbrella. The conjunction is still false, because both of the statements are false. That was conjunction. Keep your eyes open for implication and equivalence. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnadies.org. And stay skeptical, everybody.